All right, welcome back year 10s. Um, I'm just gonna show you how to do some editing on the on Photoshop. So once you've opened your image, now if you can, don't know how to open an image on Photoshop, go back to the first video, which shows you how to download stuff off Google Classroom and Google Drive and then open it in Photoshop. Alrighty, so I've got my image here that I've, I wanna edit. Um, now I like the colors in this one and stuff, but I'm still going to play around with it and just make sure that I've got the best looking option in, uh, I can get. Okay. So yes, you may have taken a photo that's really, really nice, but it's all, always a good idea to play around with it on Photoshop and just see if you can adjust those colors and tones and stuff like that. So, um, it like becomes really, really nice. Alrighty. So if you haven't used Photoshop before, um, it works in layers. So at the moment here, I've got my one layer which is my background layer, which is my image. And what we're gonna do is start putting some layer masks on here to um, put like a, what's well, a mask over the top. So we're gonna, it's called non-destructive editing. So it means we're not gonna edit the original photo. We're gonna put a mask over there, like a filter, uh, kind of like what you would do on Instagram. And um, so we, the image that we see is looking through that filter, but we're not actually changing the original one. Alrighty, so, over on this tab here, we've got adjustments. So if you haven't got your adjustments tab open, click that one and you should see all these little symbols. Now we're gonna play around with five of them. And the first one we're gonna do is your brightness and contrast. So straight away, when I click on that, you can see that we've got another layer here. Alrighty, and that layer, because we click brightness contrast, that's what we're editing with this one. So if I just move that out of the way a little bit. If I adjust the brightness, that's pretty obvious what it's going to do. It's going to make the um, photo lighter or darker. So you may have um, taken a photo and it's come out underexposed and really dark. So you may want to bring the brightness up um, just to, so yeah, correct that underexposure. We've also got the contrast one here. So contrast, if you're not sure what that means, that's contrast is the difference between your darks and your lights. So if I up the contrast, you're going to see that my lights become lighter and my darks become darker. And if I drop it down the other way, we're going to have a bit of a more washed out look. Alrighty. So what I'm going to do is just sort of bump the contrast up a little bit. And then I'm going to exit that. So you can see my, um, contra my layer masks here. The little eye symbol on the side means I can turn that on and off. So if I click that little eye, I can just go back and see what my original one was. So there's not much of a change. We can see over here, it's a lot darker through there. Um, okay. So that's the first one. Now I'm just gonna turn that one off while I play with the second one. So you can click and drag that into the little bin if you wanna get rid of it, but I'm just gonna turn that off. So the next one is levels. So this does pretty much the same thing, but it's a little bit more customizable. Alrighty, so first thing I want you to have a look at is this sort of graph here. Now that's what we call a histogram and it shows um, the amount of darks, lights, uh, darks, midtones, and lights in our photo. So we can see here there's a big spike near the lights. So we know that around the lights area, um, there's gonna be some a lot of light in this image. And I can see this patch here, it's got a, a lot of light in it. So that's where I'm guessing that is. Alrighty, so if I play with my shadows, the dark one, bring that, that's going to adjust my shadows. My middle little toggle here is going to adjust my midtones. So I can adjust the mids. And then here is my lights. Alrighty, so I might play around with this. This you can get a little bit more specific about what areas you're targeting. So I reckon just the midtones on that one. Alrighty, so I can turn that one on and off. So you can see there, it's quite washed out. We've got a little bit more contrast in here. It's still pretty dark in the corner there. Um, but if I turn that one off and turn my contrast, so I can, I know I like that a bit better. We probably need to crop it a bit. Um, but yeah, for your photo, it might work out really nicely. So the next one I'm gonna do is uh, curves, which again is similar, but a little bit more uh, custom. I'll do that in the next video. Okay.